Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to our math review for the week. Let's get started by counting to 10. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, kindergartners, I am going to show you one of the numbers, and I want you to say the number and show me with your fingers how many is that number? Are you ready? Some of these are going to be hard. First, what number is this? Zero. Can you show me zero? Good. What number is this? Three. Can you show me three? Good. What number is this? Nine. Can you show me nine? Good. What number is this? Eight. Can you show me eight? Good. What number is this? Four. Can you show me four? Good. What number is this? Five. Can you show me five? Good. And what number is this? Two. Can you show me two? Good. What number is this? Seven. Can you show me seven? Good. What number is this? Six. Can you show me six? What number is this? One. Can you show me one? Good. And last, what number is this? 10. Can you show me 10? Good. Now today, kindergartners, we are going to look at the number 6. So I'm going to pull you a little... Sorry about that loud noise. And we're going to be looking at the number 6. That is our number for today. Now, to make the number 6, you go down and around. Down and around. You can make the number six with your hand in the air. You can go down and around. If you have some pencil or paper at home, you could be making the number six at home. All right, my friends, let's look at the rest. So six, what do you hear at the beginning of six? Yes, what letter makes the sound? S, yes, so to spell six is S, I, X, 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 S, I, X spells six. Now there are other ways that we can represent the number six. So let's keep looking at our picture up here. I have one, two, three, four, five cubes plus one more cube. So I have one, two, three, four, five, plus one more cube. How many do I have? If I have five plus one, I have six. Yes, five cubes plus one more is six. Now I also have up here some tally marks. Let's count our tally marks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. When you have the fifth one, the fifth tally mark, it is a diagonal. And then you start a whole new group over again. Six. So we have five and one. That is six. Nice. Now I have my ten frame. I need to color in six for my ten frame. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That is what a 10 frame looks like when it has five and one or six. Nice. And the last thing I want to do is a dice. Some of you have probably played games with a dice and seen the number six on a dice. It looks like this. It has three circles on one side or dots 
and three circles or dots on the other side, and that is the number six. So whenever you see three and three, you can say, oh, I know that number. It's the number six. Yes, good job, kindergartners. Now, I would like to talk a little bit about some other numbers and some other fun stuff. I'm going to take this down because we're going to need the board up here. So I want to talk about the number five and then adding more to it. So we will start with the number five and we will add more to it. So if I have five blue cubes, let's count one, two, three, four, five, and I wanted to make it six, how many cubes do I add? Five plus, hmm, five plus what makes six? Five plus, one, yes, five plus one makes six. You could say five, six. If I know that this is five, five, six. Five plus one makes six. Let's write that up on our board, ready? Five plus one equals six. Nice. Okay, my friends. Now, what if I want to make seven? And I'm starting with five. I have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Five, six, seven. How many do I need to add to five to make seven? Two. I need to add two to make seven. Yes. Five, six, seven. Seven blocks. Five plus two makes seven. Let's write that up on our board. Five plus two equals seven. Very nice, kindergartners. Now, what if I want to make eight? I have five, but what if I want eight? Five, hmm, six, seven, Eight. How many did I need to add to make eight? Three. Yes, I had to add three. That's right. Five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three is eight. Let's write that on our board. Five plus three is Eight. Nice job, kindergartners. Okay, what if I want to make nine? I have five. How do I make nine? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, how many did I have to add to make nine? Four. I had to add four to make nine. You're right. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Five and four make nine. Let's add that to our board. Five plus four equals nine. I bet you know where we're going. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How do we make ten? Five, we're going to start with five. How many more do I need to make ten? Five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Five and five make ten. Yes, I have five blue and five orange, and that makes Ten. Yes, let's write that on our board. I have five plus five equals ten. That is pretty amazing, kindergartners. Good job. Thanks for doing those addition problems with me. Now, my friends, I have a book that I would like to read to you. I'm going to erase this really fast. You could be doing some five plus things at home too. That would be really fun if you could do that. This is called 10 Black Dots by Donald Cruz. 
He is the author. And it says, what can you do with 10 black dots? One dot can make a sun or a moon when the day is done. Two dots can make the eyes of a fox or the eyes of keys that open locks. Three dots can make a snowman's face or beads for stringing on a shoelace. Four dots can make seeds from which flowers can grow, or the knobs on a radio. Five dots can make buttons on a coat, or the portholes of a boat. Six dots can make marbles that you hold. Three and three is six. Half are new and the rest are old. Seven dots can make the spots on a snake or stones turned up by a garden rake. Eight dots can make the wheels of a train carrying freight through the sun and the rain. Nine dots can make toy soldiers standing in rank or the pennies in your piggy bank. Ten dots can make balloons stuck in a tree. Shake the branch and set them all free. Count them. Are there really ten? Now we can begin again counting dots from one to ten. Can you count the dots with me? Ready? There's one. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, look at all those to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you count this one by yourself? I'll point and you do the counting. Ready? Ten. There were ten dots. Thanks for coming to the math review with me today, kindergartners. It was so good to see you, and I will see you next time. Bye!